Hello everyone, this is Dreyas. Uh gonna try to go through and explain how to install a mod using the mod launcher. Uh well we've got a lot of people playing the where's where's he UK and uh a lot of people Kind of struggling with it a little bit so i figured i'd throw a video together kind of explain it i already have the mod installed so i'll use another mod as an example darkness falls uh to start out using the mod launcher uh there's a new mod launcher which a lot of people are having trouble install installing where's uk with it so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website and I'll put links in the description 72dmodlauncher.org and uh, if you just do download here you'll get the new unity based one but what we want to do is we want to scroll down to these frequently asked questions when you get here this will be collapsed and you want to expand this where can I find the old mod launcher link and you just want to download it click this here to download it and it'll throw it most likely in your download folder. You see, I've already downloaded it once. Uh, and you can open up that folder. Let me get rid of that one. And uh, you're just going to double click on this and it's going to go to install it. I already have it installed, so it's giving me the option to remove or repair. Uh, so you're going to want to install it uh so you'd have like an install button i think here or whatnot i don't want to install mine to actually show the install because then i'd have to redo it all over again but it's fairly straightforward so let's cancel out of this close that Assuming that all goes well, then you should get this icon on your desktop. I mean, you can move this wherever you want. I mean, it's just going to go. Uh, to uh, see it installed it on your desktop. It's just a little you can move this anywhere. I don't fully understand how he's like a little app or something, but it's like a lightweight all in one deal. So you can just double click on it to open it. And you're going to come up with this screen here. You see, I already have two mods installed. You won't have anything right here. This little area be blank right here. And you can kind of pick different mods. Like, for example, where's K? you would open this up expand it and if you don't have it installed instead of this green check mark there's going to be like a little red x here so you would click on it but you wouldn't get this screen because i've already had it installed you would get this but this is darkness falls but you know this would be where's uk uh couple of things you might want to pay attention to here uh, is your destination right this mod launcher will default to C drives you notice I've got mine on D because uh, like a lot of people you keep your games on a separate drive than your operating system if you're fine with it going on your C drive maybe that's the only drive you got then leave it as is if you don't want it on your operating system you want it on a different drive just you know change the drive letter and you can keep the same install path or if you've got a particular place you want it to go you know you, you can make that decision additionally if you're installing from a copy if you want to install from a copy because I don't have this on the C drive and because my steam vanilla is not on the C drive, it doesn't default to C in it. So you have to pick a folder and browse to where your 
Steam install is if you want to do a copy. In this case, mine's on the D drive and Steam library, and I would do like that right there. And it didn't go in there for some reason. Maybe I need to double click it. Oh, because uh, <laughs> it's actually nested deeper. Sorry about that. So, oh, I'm messing up again. That's uh, my mod folders. So, Steam Apps, Common, Seven Days to Die. Okay. And we're going to pick this folder and click OK. Okay, see, so now it auto filled it in here. Now, if you're going to use a copy, you want to make sure for Where's UK uh, that you use the latest um, Seven Days to Die version which right now is 20.3 stable build 5 b5 uh so basically make sure your vanilla install is up to date if you're unsure or if you try this and you have any problems you can also download it from steam instead it'll have you put your username password here make sure this is on latest and when you get that information filled in you're going to hit install game copy and what that's going to do is it's going to close steam out if it's open and it's going to open up a dos window and if you have two-factor authentication enabled which i highly recommend uh it's going to ask for your steam guard key and you're going to put that in and that dos prompt is going to after you enter it that dos prompt is going to roll through and start installing a vanilla copy to this directory so basically you're going to have your vanilla copy and you're going to have an additional copy and that's what it's doing it's not installing the mod yet it's just installing a copy of your vanilla so that's going to run and install your copy and depending on your computer it'd be fairly quick and you up a little speed if you do this it's going to be very quick because it's basically you know you're copying from your computer to another location you're not having to download anything if you do download then you know you're downloading the game the vanilla game all over uh, but ever which one you choose once you get it downloaded then your screen will look like this as you get to right here you'll need to pre-sync it and when you start pre-syncing it, it'll you'll get down here by the status. It'll kind of tell you what it's doing. So basically, pre-syncing the first time is installing the mod on top of your copy, and it'll run through and it'll start at like one of four thousand six hundred and something files, and it'll go through that, and it'll you know it'll take a little bit because you're downloading almost a two gigabyte file. I think it's one point eight something gigs. And then after that gets done, then you can, you know, you can come over here and hit play mod. I run my game as admin, just, you know, you don't have to, if you don't want to, I don't believe, you know, if you want to try it without it, if you run into any issues, you can try running it as admin. I just, just got in the habit of doing it just to, I guess, cut off any potential problems that might arise from not doing it. If you run across this video and you don't know who Game Edge is, you're not aware of him, or you're not subscribed to him, uh, I'll leave the links to his channel and Discord in the description below. If uh, you support him through YouTube or Twitch or Patreon, uh, he gives access to a handful of servers. That, you know, we kind of change them out just depending on what the bulk of the community is. Uh, playing and as updates for various mods and uh, games come out so uh, if you're interested in that you know check those links in the description uh, I hope this video helped somebody you know at least one person maybe uh, I made it primarily for the members in game edge community but you know if it helped you, you know, you're not a part of his community and you run across it and it helped you, that's great. I appreciate everybody watching 
And uh, if you have any questions or comments, you leave them in the description, in the comment section below, or you can find me at Game Edges Discord. Shoot me a DM, and I'll try to help you. Uh, you know, if if I'm free to do so. Again, thanks for watching, and y'all take care. Bye for now.